Top. Got a got a baby in the box. And uh, we need to get it out of there. Get it checked in. So we can check it out. And see what's going on with this particular piece of equipment here. Alright. Let's get to it. This is in a really nice box. Alright. Ooh, look at that cloth. That's a good one. I like that one. I mean, I don't want to spend too much time on a cloth, but yeah, I'm digging that one. Okay, that comes out. We all know that. All these stickers and the rest of this stuff, that'll stay in there. Um, in case I ever sell the knife or give it away, I'll want whoever gets it to have it. And uh, so I don't know if you recognize this knife, but this is the Civivi Odium. And it is, this particular one is black with uh, uh, black G10 and a black stonewashed blade. Let's get that out and look at it. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is uh, a small knife, but... I mean, I already can tell that I'm going to like this because it's capable. It, you know, it's not optimum, but it's capable. Look at this little thing. Yeah. I was a little worried about that detent on the back space, on the back there. But it's, it's running fine. It just, you know, like all knives out of the box, they tend to not run great you know they need they need to be worked a little bit or um yeah so spidey flick works well that thumb flick works good and then it's got the back flipper a little pocket clip all right let's take it apart clean it up let's see what's going on inside there I don't think there's anything spectacular in there, but let's uh, let's get it checked in properly. Ooh, was that loose? Yeah, that wasn't tight at all, and there's no Loctite on it. Um, what about these? I think these are the only other screws in this pocket clip. That's all. That back one right there. It's T6. Let's switch bits. Civivi Odium. I think that's what it's called. Let's look. I'm stupid, man. I'd be calling it the wrong thing. There it is. Odium. Black G10. Black Stonewash D2 blade. Yeah, so not super fancy. I think I probably could have left that one in. Now that I got it out, it's this one that's holding everything together. But that's all right. Just remove it. Screws and all. Yeah, look at a pile of oil in there for sure. I'm glad we're taking it apart because that would definitely work its way onto the scales. And, you know, oh, it's got some internal screws. Look at that, two of them. Let's get those out of our way. Finish taking this apart. One, two. Oh, got a little Loctite on them too. Look at that. They had Loctite, but this pivot screw had none. Huh. Kind of weird. Yeah, she come apart easy now. Get them screws out of the way. But it's wet. Wet. And I think if I take that off, I'll probably get this other scale off. That way I can get all that oil. No, 
leave any behind. Probably keep that one separate, that little tiny screw. Okay, yeah. Cage metal bearings. Um, yeah, pretty simple. Let's clean it up and we'll put it back together. It's a pretty tiny knife, but you know, it's one of those that even though it's small, something tells me off of my initial grip and holding it and that this is still going to be a, a, a self-defense knife. I think it's, you know, it's not optimum, but I think this thing's going to provide a excellent strong grip that's safe. And so, yeah, it's not a, it's not an eight inch blade. Um, but who really carries that around, right? Um, I guess, I guess some people do. Some people got them big bushcraft knives on their belt, whatever. Um, but for a simple, you know, simple pocket knife that would be capable of being deployed and used for self-defense without risk of injury to the user, uh, I think this one's going to qualify just from my initial handling of it. Um, I think it fits into that category. The grip felt appropriate. All right, we're all clean. Let's put it back together. I think these two were held by this one screw. Get it in the right spot. There we go. Okay. No worries there. Obviously, that's not correct. So, did I put the wrong, put the wrong scale on this? Okay. Well, that's about, it's about as bizarre as it comes, isn't it? Yeah. It was actually this scale. Goofy. I got you, though. Lots of uh, skeletizing, skeletonizing going on here. Lots of relief cuts in this material. Um, could have swore that this was captured, but it is not. Okay. So let's just get it on. Yeah, lots of relief on this. I think... Let's see. Oh, that's right. Those were the two inside screws. They were holding that on the inside. Was that through this? Wow, I got confused here. Um, it had to be through this. Because, otherwise they'd be too long. I'm having to call time out. I know that that one's holding that. That's correct. And these had to have gone down from here to hold that in. There's no other explanation. That don't seem right. I don't think that's right.
unless let me get this back out well I'm fumbling here I should have paid a little better attention yeah they're not recessed on either side of that so I think that that's the only way they can be yeah that's the only choice we got But they do not go into that liner. They're just going into the metal. This is the one pin. Stop pin. I mean, that's the only explanation. They got to go there. It's amazing how stumped I am on this one. It's just these two little internal screws. They just seem to be not like they would have recessed down in there. But... They're not, so it is what it is. And then, hmm, okay, I know what's going on now. I gotcha, goof. All right, let's uh, let's put this together. How about that? Because I got it. I I figured it out. My brain finally functioned. Sorry for the delay. I wonder what that was like to watch. It's like, what's he doing? He seems lost. I was. Completely. Yeah. But I'm zeroed in now. I'm gonna get it figured out. Okay. Now this. Oop. I probably need to. I'm gonna have to. Let's see. Okay. The scale's gotta come off. Yeah. I get it. That's why I was confused. This is the scale screw back here. Like that. All right. Goodness gracious. There we go. All right. We're, we're closing in on it now. Holy shnikes. I mean, isn't that how it goes though? Sometimes you just get stretched by the simplest things. I know that happens to me. It's like, man, I can I can manage world fallout. But sometimes just the tiniest little thing will just stretch me and leave me in La La Land. Yeah, okay. Better. I probably need to snug those up now because we're going to cover them. The delicate nature of this knife, I can tell you that I'm not, I'm not working very hard to super tighten any of this. I don't think that that would be the right thing. I do want to put a little Loctite on that, but I'm going to put this clip on first so I can get rid of this uh, T6 bit so that pocket clip is not recessed so these screws all of this just goes right down on top of it not really 
sure why I'm having to chase this screw around. It doesn't want to come out of there. Oof. Okay. Man alive. Like I'm in a dogfight here with this tiny little knife. Well, I got you now. Okay. Well, it's a dead space on this video, right? It's because I'm getting my my lunch packed. It's like I'm like I'm in a fight with a with a nine year old and they're tear me up. Whew. But I'm gonna catch up quick now. I'm on a home stretch. A little bit of this goodness. There we go. Okay. Solid as a rock. All right. Let's do a little cleanup. Wow, there was game delays going on there. It's like, yeah, hopefully you got stepped out and got a drink and some popcorn, something to eat. Snack. Made your way back to your seat now so we can wrap up. Okay, let me run that action. See if I've improved anything. Man, it's awful hard to tell on this tiny little dude. I'm gonna say we're we're in the same space, but I did clean it up a little more precise with the lubrication versus just having it all over everything. I don't know, maybe it's running a little better, but it's definitely a shake to shut knife. So, um, the action, I mean, it, it's wonderful. The deployment action, you know, even though it's a tiny knife, you got plenty of hold there with the pocket clip and, you know, just getting your fingers right on that and being able to go and launch that out. And then, of course, I fail it. But with it being a uh, liner lock like that, um, there's no way to put any pressure on there. So, that's good. Because if that was a, a, a frame lock, I don't know. It's probably too small to get away with all that. Uh, lock access. Um, I'm going to say that's easily 50% in there. And uh, it's lowered on this side. So you can gain it. And then it's uh, jimped. So it's got some grip on it. So, I, you know, I, I am turning my thumb to catch that with my nail uh, or the corner of my thumb there but pretty easy no complaints there for sure um, let's talk about this grip so definitely that's a three finger grip right there it's pretty strong and so that would definitely discount this for um, self-defense work I believe it's just too awkward. I mean, in a pinch, if you had this in your pocket, obviously, you know, you got to do what you got to do. But of course, in this position, in a strong position, this clip is tear me up right here. Yeah, hot, hot. Um, now, this position choked up pretty firm. And I'm able to tuck in here. My fourth finger is getting on the back side of that. And I'm able to press into my hand with it. This actually works. I mean, I you know, if if uh, this was the only knife I had, uh, if this is the knife that I had, and I had to deploy this um, to defend myself, th this would be the grip right here. This is the way this would come out to play. Yeah, 
And from there, that's a strong grip. I mean, I, no resistance is going to boggle me here. So, yeah, I mean, I, capable from that perspective? I think so. Um, pocket clip, let's check it out. I don't think there's any question that this thing's going to run. But it is a small knife, so sometimes you can get surprised. But these clips are usually pretty darn reliable. Yeah. And, man, that's got a small presence in the pocket, too. Really small. Um, uh, what's the word I'm trying to find? It's, uh, it's not out there. There's not a lot going on there. So if you're looking for minimalistic, um, small print, I mean, this thing kind of qualifies. Easy in and out, smooth though. Um, lots of tension. Wherever you put this, even on the thin side, like in thin pants, this thing's going to stay put. There's a, a lot of tension with that clip. But it's smooth. It's not going to eat your pants. So the clip's pretty cool. Uh, let's take a look at some safety features and make sure that this thing doesn't bite in any way. Yeah, that... That tip, that's not accessible. So that's that's good to go. Uh, this backspacer, whoo, ever so close. But yeah, it's good. It's down there just beyond reach. So, you know, pass, a pass, the clip's a pass. That's all good. So price and availability. I mean, I, they're, they're everywhere. Um, where I'll point to is there'll be a, a, so, a affiliate link below for Amazon, these are around, I think they're like $59 on uh, Amazon. So for a small knife, D2, um, with what you got going, I mean, I'm going to say it's kind of on the higher end of pricing, but it's not outrageous. I mean, it's a quality piece. What's that say right there? I can't read it. Even with the zoom. I'm I'm assuming that's does this say odium? Well, no, it's a logo and it says design, so it's the designer. And then down here it says D two. There we go. Yeah, so I you know, capable little knife, uh just over fifty dollars, I believe. Um definitely three fingers. You can get a full grip here, pretty strong. <laughs> you know, for all that kind of stuff. Does it cut? Let's get a piece of paper real quick and find out, and we'll wrap up. Um, blade stock, super thin on it, so I'd be I'd be pretty surprised if this isn't a slicey little beast. But here we go. Yeah, that's pretty sharp. Uh... Definitely no complaints, and it's not anything that I'm going to be in a big hurry to put any work on it. I'm pretty sure that uh, that thing can run right the way it is right now out of the box. So there it is. Civivi Odium. Uh, Amazon link below. Right around 50, between 55 and $60, I think the price is on it. So anyways, appreciate you watching. Thanks.